CES 2026 didn't feel like a tech show trying to impress us. It felt like a show that was finally paying attention to how we actually ride. Instead of chasing louder motors and bigger batteries, e-bike brands focused on comfort, control, and the small details that matter once the ride begins. Smoother power, smarter assistance, and designs that fit real routines, real streets, and real lives. These aren't just new bikes. They're ideas shaped around people, and they hint at how riding could feel in the years ahead. Haybikes stood out by focusing on everyday usability rather than chasing specs. Their bikes feel designed to live with, not just look good on paper. The first model that really drew attention was the Helio F. Yes, it's a folding e-bike, but it doesn't feel like a compromise. At roughly 40 pounds, it's light enough to carry without effort. The X-Fold mechanism collapses the bike in about three seconds, which actually matters for commuters using trains or living in smaller spaces. The 250-watt motor combined with a torque sensor delivers assistance based on pedal pressure, so acceleration feels smooth and natural instead of abrupt. This bike clearly targets urban riders who appreciate a timeless look paired with modern ride quality. Move over to the Polaris and the personality changes. This one feels like a true do-it-all machine. With a Shimano EP8 mid-drive at its core, it prioritizes balance, climbing efficiency, and control. The frame feels solid and composed, and the red dot design recognition makes sense once you see how refined the silhouette is. This bike suits riders who transition between trails and pavement and want a single setup that feels appropriate in both worlds. Haybike also addressed range anxiety with the hybrid. That massive 864 watt-hour battery is serious, and the claimed range of up to 110 miles is clearly aimed at long-distance commuters or riders hauling gear. A payload capacity close to 440 pounds reinforces its workhorse identity. The Venus takes the opposite approach, offering a lighter, quicker ride for riders who prioritize speed and efficiency. Together, these models show how Haybike is covering diverse rider needs while maintaining a consistent brand direction. Segway's presence felt understated, but the technology beneath the surface told a different story. The Mayan captures that approach perfectly. On the surface, it's a commuter e-bike with a 500-watt motor and strong torques, but the highlight is refinement. Electronic shifting eliminates awkward pauses at intersections, while the optional rear radar quietly improves situational awareness without overwhelming the rider. Built-in 4G security and GPS tracking add peace of mind, especially for riders who leave their bikes parked outdoors. The Muxi takes a more muscular approach. Its 750-watt direct-drive motor delivers smooth, quiet power particularly useful on hills, or when carrying cargo. Features like traction control and hill start assist may sound advanced, but in everyday riding, they simply make life easier. This bike is clearly designed for riders dealing with steep terrain or heavy loads who want dependable assistance without flashy styling. Segway also brought something completely unexpected with the Zaber 300. This model doesn't try to blend in, Inspired by their Dakar rally-tested prototype, it positions itself as a true electric replacement for a 300 cubic centimeters gas dirt bike. A 72 volt system paired with a 44 amp hour battery and a high output hub motor puts the emphasis on power to weight, which is critical off-road. What makes it especially compelling is how much the riding experience can be customized through software. Using the app, riders can select power modes that simulate 150 cubic centimeters, 200 cubic centimeters, or full 300 cubic centimeters performance. This helps beginners build confidence while allowing experienced riders to unleash full power. The virtual electronic clutch preserves that familiar gas bike feel, while wheelie control adds a smart layer of safety and training. The hardware matches the ambition. Adjustable Marzocchi front suspension a robust rear shock, and a proper 1917 wheel setup make it trail ready. Add GPS tracking, geofencing, Apple Find My Support, and remote locking, and it feels like an off-road machine designed for modern riders who want power with control. 
also may have been the most unexpected brand at the show. The TMB doesn't just adjust, it redefines itself. Built around a modular philosophy, it feels like a platform rather than a single purpose bike. One day, it functions as a clean commuter. The next, it shifts toward utility or shared riding. The familiar frame design keeps things approachable, but the adaptability is what sets it apart. Power delivery remains composed. With assistance up to five times pedal input, the bike responds smoothly without feeling twitchy. It stays relaxed on flat roads and provides consistent support on climbs, creating a predictable and confidence-inspiring ride. The stated range of up to 60 miles feels honest and achievable for mixed-use riding. Suspension plays a major role in that comfort. An air rear shock combined with a coil fork softens rough surfaces and uneven terrain, especially when carrying extra weight. The bike feels stable and grounded rather than rigid. Visually, the TMB avoids unnecessary flair. Finished in a clean grey tone, the design stays minimal. With pricing around $3,500 and availability expected toward the end of 2026, it clearly targets riders who want a long-term, adaptable e-bike rather than a trend-driven purchase. Yadia presented two completely different personalities. The fat boy immediately signals adventure with its massive 20 by 4.5 inch tires. Dual suspension smooths out rough trails, while the 750 watt motor provides steady propulsion across sand, gravel, and broken pavement. With a claimed range of around 140 kilometers, it encourages long exploratory rides without constant battery worries. This bike is for riders who want to roam without committing to a full mountain setup. Then there's the FLO which takes a quieter approach. LYNQ feels like a brand that paid close attention to how people actually use their bikes. The current covers daily commuting with a clean design and app-based range management. The loop introduces second passenger capability, clearly aimed at couples or short shared rides. The real highlight though is the Relay Cargo Bike. Powered by a 750 watt Buffang motor with optional dual batteries, it's designed for families delivery riders, and small businesses. Built-in racks eliminate the need for aftermarket solutions, and the AI-powered app helps riders plan range realistically. This lineup feels purpose-built for people who depend on their bikes every day. Lexco approached mobility from a different angle with the Emicro 10. This is last mile transportation done thoughtfully. Compact 14-inch wheels keep it easy to maneuver and store, while the 250 watt motor aligns well with urban regulations. The smart helmet integration improves rider visibility where it matters most, and the sequence-based locking system adds convenience without complexity. It's not meant to replace a full-size e-bike, and it doesn't try to. It fills a specific urban role and does it well. CES 2026 made one thing clear. Progress doesn't need to be loud. This year, e-bike brands focused on control, flexibility, and genuine comfort. Some pushed toward adventure, others refined daily transportation, and a few solved small but meaningful problems. That's what makes this evolution exciting. Thanks for watching. Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if this video helped you, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.